you have any good memory from Madison Square Garden? Oh, yeah. There, man? Highway to Hell with The Undertaker. For the first time in my life, I was knocked out in front of 20,000 people live on pay-per-view. And I was laying there on the mat, and I looked up. And the referee's looking down. He goes, God dang it, boy. He goes, you okay? And I said, where am I? He goes, God dang it, boy. You in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> How in the world did you wind up collaborating with William Shatner? I was a huge fan of the album uh, Transformed, uh, Transformed Man. Man. And when I was 16 years old, yes. I wrote a song for Shatner. In Love, right, is the name of it? Is that what it's that In Love is the is the song that I wrote uh -huh. that he spoke. Almost pulled off having Bill Clinton play sax, Weezer be the, the band in a gospel choir, and him all doing it live. The Clinton thing was like, yeah, I'm happy to do it. Just make sure a band doesn't let me sound like Michael Rubin here on the Rich Eisen Show. Probably my best Joel Embiid vacation story was we were in the Bahamas together for a friend's birthday, and Joel decided that he wanted to go down a water slide. And he made it. I was very proud of him. It was a big moment. <laughs> he then proceeded to Lazy River, and he, he starts to drown. I'm like, Joe, stand, Joe, stand. The water's two feet tall, and Joe's literally, like, <laughs> hyperventilated in the water. Dave Brown here on the Rich Eisen Show. I got a phone call from um, a PR person at the Giants that said, listen, uh, Phil Simms has just been released. His press conference is at three and yours is at four. I was walking in the building and just leaned over my ear and whispered, so are you a little bit nervous now? And I just walked out. <laughs> and it was like, it was such like a great like passing of the torch at the time and uh, it was very funny. Mike Leach of Washington State. Gardner Minshew, did you hear the story that he hammered his hand to purposely break it and maybe get himself a medical red shirt year? Did you hear about that story? Yeah, he told that story to the whole team. By then I'd known him a little bit. I mean, I know it sounds strange, but after you know Gardner that really doesn't surprise you that much. <laughs> he was spotted in Houston last Sunday, stretching in just a jock strap. Is that something that he did up in Washington State, too? Yeah, he did that. Uh, had the headband on and the aviator glasses on. And, uh, like, after a game, music, full blast. I don't know if it was dancing or running in place, some combination of both, and just letting it rip, you know? <laughs> Alan Ruck. Do you have any mementos from Ferris Bueller? A little button that said FBDO. Okay. It was like something they're going to hand out to kids, so it's just some little piece of That's it? it. You're wondering if I had the jersey? Yes. Yes, I yeah, was wondering. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, no sunglasses? No. I mean, what do you think no, of the Actually, show? I was pretty sick of wearing that. You know, I mean, I was in the same outfit for a I bet. couple of months. I was I was done. How old were you? I was 29. This? And you passed for a, uh, a I, high school I kid. got away with it. I got away with it. But That's that, then crazy. that was it. That was my swan song as, as a teen, as teen a actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's with the 9 a.m. Pacific start times being bandied about for the Pac-12? I mean, this isn't tennis, you know. People have described it as breakfast with the Pac-12, like as in breakfast at Wimbledon. The reason they have breakfast at Wimbledon is because it's in England, okay? <laughs> We're not in England. My compadre, Chris Brockman, has just found out he's going to be a dad. Do you have any advice for him? Well, I don't think he needs to sweat it very much. You know, people have been having kids since the caveman. <laughs> I don't know why he should be different than the rest of us, you know. He needs to just hang in there and swing away like everybody else does. Kids are actually a blast once you get past all the getting up at night and you got to housebreak them, you know. So Ben Folds was talking about uh, uh, William Shatner. Yes. And I have a, I have a fun Shatner story. Oh, friend, yes. I, I tell Shatner, I was, I was in your backyard looking at your house. He's like, what? <laughs> How could that be? This is a testament how great of an actor Shatner is. <laughs> yes. He told a whole story with just one word. I go, what happened with this golf cart? He goes, unbelievable. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. You were on the golf cart. You turned it sideways. We're doing a wheelie. You ended up jumping a dog and then landed in a creek. Yes, it was great. <laughs> one of the best days of my life. Stay connected with the Rich Eisen Show app. Available on Google Play and the App Store.